So Eddie Howe just held his morning press conference ahead of that game against West Ham. Obviously, it's been an emotionally charged week. We've had the conclusion of the transfer window. We've had Newcastle reaching their first major final since 1999. And we've had two players coming through the door in Anthony Gordon and Harris Nashby. So a lot to discuss, a lot to uh, chew over in the, in, the, in the press conference. But um, one of the main sort of topics to emerge from the Southampton game was the condition of Alexander Isaac. Uh, amid all the madness uh, going into the closing stages of that game, he suffered a, a bad blow to the head when blocking, bravely blocking uh, one of James Ward-Prowse's uh, free kicks and obviously had to come off and Newcastle have had to be very careful with him. So he is under observation going into this game. He uh, will pro probably be a late call for him. That's what Eddie Howe was sort of suggesting in his press conference. So that that's a big one. The other big uh, issue that needs to be tackled is Obviously, Bruno Guimaraes is going to be banned for three games. Thankfully, he's not going to miss the final. That would have been an absolute uh, horror story for him. But uh, Eddie Howe is going to replace him in the next three league games. And John Joe Shelby, as we know, wasn't fit anyway, but has now left the club. So the look and light in midfield. Eddie Howe uh, didn't get the midfielder he was looking for on, the, on deadline day. So it's going to be... Some a, a tweak in midfield. Uh, could it be Joel Linton dropping back and potentially someone else going into the attack? They've got options with St. Maximin, now uh, Anthony Gordon as well. So that there's plenty of options if Joel Linton is the man to drop back. But one one name that was thrown in there in the press conference was Elliot Anderson. Uh, Eddie Howe saying that, you know, it, it's starting to naturally move towards him now, uh, you know, getting his opportunity. Uh, it didn't go out on loan in the summer, but... Uh, he could be getting a run in the team in the next few weeks. Uh, you never know, um, because obviously managers like to keep things uh, close to the chest, but Anderson's name was certainly one. Eddie Howe was happy to to throw in there himself uh, voluntarily uh, today in, in the press conference. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what role he has in, in the next few weeks moving forward. And then uh, there was talk about the aftermath of, of the window. You know, Newcastle were heavily linked with Conor Gallagher of Chelsea. And that move didn't go through. He didn't end up going anywhere. Um, there was talk of a huge price tag, um, £45 million. Um, didn't happen. Uh, then there was talk of you know Chelsea not wanting to sell to Newcastle uh, because they see them as a rival club. Looking at those Champions League places, they're well off the pace. And do Chelsea want to do Newcastle any favours? Uh, it would seem not, uh, because that, that move didn't go through, despite some strong interest from Newcastle United. But there we are. Uh, it's all about that West Ham game. Quick word on that. Saturday night, 5.30 kickoff. West Ham haven't had the best of seasons. Newcastle go into the game uh, still looking solid, despite conceding that, that first goal in 15 and a half hours. Uh, it's a real opportunity to, to again bolster that top four place, and you know that's what Newcastle they really need to lock in now and 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 focus on that. Uh, put the cup final aside now. You know that's around the corner. But the next three games, can they can they yield the seven to nine points they need to to really bolster um, their place uh, in those Champions League places, and then possibly you know that would put them in a great place going into the running. But um, Eddie Howe urging for focus but knows he's got options there in midfield going into this weekend's game.